Okay, so we're talking about the fur on guinea pigs in this problem, and you can tell pretty quickly when you start reading this, they talk about black fur is dominant to white fur, fine, and then they start talking about hair length instead, short hair is dominant to long. So if we're tracking color and length at the same time, that's what we call a dye hybrid problem, or a dye hybrid cross, because we're keeping track of two traits at the same time. And just to get some quick notes done, we have black is dominant, so we'll use capital B. And little b shall stand for white. But I don't start with B. Tough. You're recessive to a word that does start with B, so you get to be a B allele. Short hair is dominant to long hair, so uh, this is one of the it's so much easier, it's so much more intuitive when the big letter goes with big hair and the small letter goes with small hair, but that's not the case here. Little s means short hair, and little tiny s goes with long hair. We'll survive. Okay, so one parent is a guinea pig that's homozygous for white and homozygous for short. Lovely, we know exactly what their genotype is. Homozygous white and homozygous short is crossed with a guinea pig who is homozygous for black, big B, big B, and homozygous for long, little s, little s. Indicate the phenotypes of the F1 generation. Oh, okay, and then the F2 generation. I was thinking this one was going to go really fast because the first generation is very simple, but the second generation will not be. How many different gametes can we get from each of these parents? The answer is one each. This parent can pass on a single B allele, there it is, and a single S allele, there it is. Little b big S is all this parent can possibly make. This parent can only pass on big B little s, and so we get a little tiny Punnett square with these two parents contributing, and so our genotype, there's only one genotype that can possibly happen, and it's big B, little b, big S, little s. So big B means this guinea pig is black, and big S means this guinea pig has short hair. So we got nothing but black and short hair from this, for, from what we call the F1 generation. Now they say if we take two of these hybrids from the F1 generation and mate them, well, this is maximum complexity here. We have heterozygous for both traits on both parents. So this is going to be a 4 by 4 Punnett square. So these were grandma and grandpa. These were their kids. And now the grandchildren are going to come from a 4 by 4 square. In case you're dreading watching me walk through this, I am going to do the 9331 shortcut in case you want to see that, and it should clean this thing up pretty quickly, but I will then do the full Punnett square in case you want to see it. So if we shortcut this, <coughs> we get nine individuals who are dominant and dominant again. They're dominant for both traits. We'll get three who are dominant for one thing and recessive for the second. We'll get three who are the other way around, recessive for the first thing, dominant for the second. And we will get one who is recessive and recessive again. So what does that mean for these traits? It should mean we get nine who are, the dominant is black and the dominant is short. So we should get nine black short. Not too surprising since both parents are black short. We'll get nine who are dominant for the first thing, recessive for the second, so black but long. Black long. We should get three who are recessive for the first thing, and dominant for the second, so white short. White short. And we should get one who is recessive for both things, so white long hair. White long. Okay, so 
If you're comfortable doing the shortcut, terrific. If you're not, then this next part is for you. We'll power through the Punnett square. And hopefully we'll see that same pattern come out. So, go to black here. So, the gametes these can produce we can get by foiling. And when we do that, our first is big B, big S. Our outside is big B, little s. Inside, little b, big S. And last is little, little. And because both parents have the same genotype, not surprisingly, we get the same gametes from them on both sides. Big, uh, da, 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 yes, okay. I think that's error free. So, what will the grandkids look like? Big B, big everything. Big B, little b, big S, big S. Big B, little b, big S, little s. Big B's, hetero S's. Big B's, little s's. Hetero B's, hetero S's. Hetero B's, little s's. Hetero B's, big S's. Hetero B's, hetero S's. Little B's, big S's. Little B's, hetero S. Hetero B, hetero S. Hetero B, little s. Little B, hetero S. And there's always a fully recessive guy in the bottom right corner. Okay, so that's all our guinea pigs. Now, what do they actually look like? Switch colors to make this a little nicer to read, I hope. Okay, so big B means black, and big S means short. Oops, what did I do? I hit tab and it broke something, but we're okay. This is black and short, black and short. The whole top row is black and short. Down here, big B means black, and big S means short. Black and not short, little s is long. Black and short, black and long. Big B means black, big S means short, black and short. Little B means white and short, and little B means white and short. Big B means black, big S means short, big B means black, little S means long. And then we get white and short. You'd think I get faster as I go through, but it kind of doesn't happen. And finally, we get white and long for the last one. And if we count those up, we know 9331 should happen, but let's make sure. Black and short, and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 black and short, 7, 8, 9 for black and short. Nine black, short hair. Uh, black and long, we get one, two, and three. Uh, white and short, one, two, three. And one white long. So the shortcut works. If you don't trust the shortcut or if you don't remember the shortcut, no problem. The Punnett square will always come through for you.